Welcome to another issue of Edge Animate Online Week. Today's advanced session is about Edge Animate and content management systems. A good friend and colleague of mine, Tim Janden, has built some amazing modules for the two most popular blogging and content management systems, WordPress and Drupal. So it has never been easier to publish your creative work built with Edge Animate. Once the modules are set up, you won't need any coding or FTP tools to integrate your compositions into your website theme or even in the content fields. Especially the Drupal version is really versatile and has built-in support for views and even data injection. So who could give you a better introduction into Edge Suite for Drupal than Tim himself? But this session is going to be slightly more technical, so you have been warned. Hi everyone and uh, welcome to my session about Edge Animate and uh, Drupal within the Edge Week. My name is uh, Tim and I'm the Edge Animate CMS guy, at least when it comes to Drupal and uh, WordPress. Simon already showed you in his uh, Adobe TV session how to use uh, Edge Suite, the WordPress plugin, to integrate your Edge uh, animations into WordPress. And today I will be talking about uh, Drupal. So before we start, a couple of uh, words about uh, Drupal itself. Drupal is a content management uh, system in a way just like uh, WordPress and uh, Joomla, for example. On the other hand, uh, Drupal is also kind of a framework. That's at least how I see it and a lot of other people as well. Um, and that's what makes it really interesting in the uh, context of uh, Edge Animate uh, because we were able to uh, build uh, really interesting uh, functionality with the help of the underlying Drupal framework that I will show you uh, today. So uh, let's get started. To integrate our uh, composition into Edge Animate, we need a uh, so-called OEM file. And uh, here Simon set up an uh, animation for the uh, Edge Camp with the sprite sheet animation. And uh, so for that animation, I'm going to show you how you get an uh, OEM. First, what we do is we capture a poster and that will already uh, tell us that posters are used for publishing. So we take that and go to publishing. I've already done that uh, before. So here we need the animate deployment package. It's already uh, selected. The poster that we just took was automatically selected. So that's all good. And we just hit publish. And that's it from the animate part and now we can go to structure and to edge suite and we find our animation the oam it's in the that's the project directory it's in published and then animate package here is the oam we upload it and here we go and as you can see we get the poster that we just took as a preview and uh, now we can just place that within a block or to be more precise with uploading uh, it over the uh, interface Edge Suite all, uh, automatically provides you with a block. So we scroll down here and we should see the block as uh, here it's Edge Composition, Edge Camp Header and so we place it in the banner, we save it and now we check the home page and yay, it comes up. And it centers really nicely because Simon used uh, the Edge uh, Commons uh, functionality for centering the stage. And that also works great. Um, for now, we only want the animation to come up on the front page. So we set that up so we don't have it on every page and that works great now. So you might think, okay, well, that's uh, nice. Is there more? Of course there's more. Uh, what you saw now is uh, possible with uh, version 1 of the module. Completely new now is version 2 of the module and that comes with field support and views integration. What the hell is that, you might ask. And uh, a simple example of what that is, is when we scroll down the page and uh, we see a small block or area down here with latest animations. And uh, so you got 
small thumbnails and the really cool thing now is for example when you click on it an actual animation comes up and that's what uh, you're now able to do with uh, the new version of the module it's all works with uh, with fields here I'll basically set up a new content type a content type in, in Drupal is that you uh, want to uh, model something special so for example here I'll uh, decide that I want to have animations in, in general as uh, some kind of content on my page it could also be events or whatever um, and uh, then I'll uh, do that and then I'll create a small view here and uh, arrange that and we get to that in a bit how you can do that but for the content type and the view you can just go to add content to show you how easy it actually is to work with it and also to set it up so I want to add a new animation you get a title here the body field is standard and that is actually what the field support gives you um, it's just that upload widget that we also had uh, in the other interface and uh, now the other day I came across a new demo by um, Sarah and so we use uh, that it's she called it scale to fit and so we call it uh, Sarah well, let's say demo by Sarah Hunt and now we go to our general OEM folder. I'll put a couple of OEMs in there. It's called clouds. We upload it and um, we give it a label, uh, Sarah what's up for example, and the description birds flying in the sky. You can see I've tried that uh, before and then we tag it. Uh, we have a couple of tags already set up. I think it's adaptive for it. Yeah, I'll set that up for responsive um, animations. Then it's a banner. Yeah, it's, that also works. And then, for example, I tag it with birds. Yeah, okay. And then I'll save it. And now the animation comes up here and it comes up with my custom text. You could e add images, uh, so, so image fields or whatever you want to do. And uh, that probably now looks horrible in Chrome, but uh, I'll show you that the responsiveness of the animation works pretty good. So that's that. And um, because we have uh, set it up as a, as a view, then that will automatically add the new animation that I just added to my, my page, which is uh, animation in that way as it is a new piece of uh, content. It will uh, be added automatically down here. So now when I click on it, the animation comes up as well. And of course, that's the same on the, on the home page. So that to give you an idea of uh, how that works. So another example of what you're able to do with uh, views, I've built an administration overview. When you're installing the module, don't try to look for that administration table. It doesn't exist in uh, that way. I'll just build that within five minutes with the help of uh, views. As you can see, it uh, lists the uh, animations that we uploaded the title, some meta information and in that case it's especially interesting that one of our animations is uh, still using the runtime from the first version of uh, Edge Animate and uh, because we tagged our content I can now select it or filter it. Here we have all the banners, the fixed width or maybe just uh, birds. So. Uh, that's uh, that's that. Another example for for views and to get an idea of how flexible that stuff is, is uh, I set up an uh, overview for the uh, for the user. So um, 
it also lists all the uh, compositions but here it the animation just shows up as a, as a poster but this time a, a bigger poster it has the text um, here uh, so that looks good as it is um, it gives the user an idea of uh, what your content might be about and then you can click on the on the link and get to the full page if we decide well but actually we don't like to uh, have posters here then we can uh, change that and that's called uh, field formatters therefore we go to our content type that's the animation content type here and for example now we also see the field the, the edge suite field here it's called edge animate instance here we got our terms the body field it's all good we go to manage display that is the default view so it means that's how the uh, animation will be rendered on the full page and here it's uh, we got stage selected and now actually within the view over there that we uh, were looking at before we have teasers and so here we can see it's set up as poster and image style medium we could just change the image style here or we could create a new image style for example for the small um, um, icons or thumbnails that you saw in the footer I'll just set up a custom image style but now we decide we want to actually play the composition and so default per field that is fine for now and now we go back to the composition page it takes a bit and now the compositions come up and play directly and uh, yeah you can't tell me that's not awesome or <laughs> powerful or whatever so yeah that's uh, that and um, to actually give you an idea how easy it is to set uh, all of that up I will just quickly create a new view let's say we um, down here in the in the footer we want um, animations to come up that are tagged with community for example so then we go to structure we go to views then we create a new view we call it uh, community um, we don't need description we want content we want to filter by animation and in that uh, case it's really easy to filter by text so we got community here we want the news up first we don't want a page but we want a block it's called community that's fine so then we edit it and now that's just the whole view interface um, and down here we already have a preview but as it is set up right now by default it would give us the title and we don't want the title we want the uh, composition so I can filter here by content and then I'll check here it's note it's the animation type and that's the composition so that's the one I want I don't need a label and here now we got the stage for matter or the, the field for matter and uh, now I have the same options that I had with the field so I could just render it as a stage so it would uh, directly uh, view the animation which of course we don't want in in that case um, but to show the options for that formatter um, it takes the default so uh, as you might have seen in the uh, on the edit form per uh, instance you can decide if you want to view it inline or on the other hand if you want to wrap it into an iframe which comes in uh, really handy from time to time and so here you can also just force that uh, all the animations are being rendered uh, within an iframe but we don't want that uh, anyway uh, the poster we have uh, seen now a couple of times uh, it was set up uh, before for the overview there was not linked to a trigger we saw it for the latest animations uh, there it uh, 
we just had that image style selected and then we had the color box trigger but we also don't want, want that. Now let's say we want a, just a plain text title and that links then to the to the color box. So we select the color box overlay and um, now we want to customize the uh, trigger text a bit and we want to use the label. So we put the label in. That's looking pretty good. And now the label comes up down here but the title is still in. So we remove the title. That looks good. Click save. Then we go to the blocks page, which I also set up a shortcut, which I didn't use before. So then we should get a new block down here. It's called community and we set it up in the footer second, I think that is. We save it. We go to the home page. And now the block community comes up and when I click on it, I'll get the animation. And so that is how I build that small um, view here or the administration overview or the, uh, what else do we have, the uh, composition overview. And what's uh, left to do now is show you a bit of the configuration options that Edge Suite comes with but it's actually nothing really special. You can uh, decide if the compositions should be rendered with the latest uh, IE engine, always a good idea. We have implemented uh, jQuery no conflict mode, which is uh, really handy because we had a lot of problems with that in the beginning when uh, people are were starting to use other jQuery plugins alongside uh, Edge animations. Um, global, uh, global block usage is enabled. Uh, the general upload uh, directory for the uh, OEMs. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, maybe one thing to mention when it comes to the uh, directories, you also need to set up the private file system uh, that's up here because the, when you upload OEMs uh, uh, the OEMs will be saved in a private folder so uh, people can just uh, access or download them from the uh, from the outside so they're just for internal uh, usage so you need to do that. A bit more interesting are the uh, field configuration options uh, for the composition, we got the composition field here. Um, of course, we got a label, pretty standard. Uh, per instance or per field, we can decide if a user can select the view mode, if uh, he's able to decide if the animation should uh, show up inline or wrapped in an iframe. In an iframe, that makes especially sense, for example, for the uh, Hungry Edge banner because that was using the first uh, runtime and uh, so that as we've uh, figured out for the demo here um, two runtimes don't really work together right now um, so we just wrap that uh, in an iframe and then it uh, works again of course we'll look into that and see if uh, that's a problem in general or, or that is coming from we have the label enabled and uh, the description. The description then especially works with the color box plugin. Then there is data injection, and that's a whole uh, yeah other topic and uh, more advanced. So we get to that uh, in a, in, a, in another screencast. And uh, here you can also define a file directory. So nothing really super exciting here. You can, uh, as with every field, you can decide if it's if you can upload uh, unlimited uh, values in our case animations to a field or not. And um, yeah, let's just quickly go to the module page and check what's uh, going on there. We got the Edge Suite module here. The Edge Suite module itself depends on Entity API. A lot of modules do that because Entity API will be in uh, 
Drupal 8 uh, core, so it's always a good module to rely on anyway. Um, and uh, Edge Suite also, now what you saw is only the, the, the surface. If you're a developer, check out the API because it has a, a really clean API and you're, uh, you're able to do even more things on the uh, API level. And then we use the token modules to here token and entity tokens to um, set up the uh, color box uh, trigger of course up here we use the color box uh, module itself which depends on the library model so mm, it's all pretty pretty standard down here we use views and uh, that's basically it so uh, yeah I think that's it for now I guess you got a good impression of what Edge Suite is uh, capable of, what you can do with it, how views work, uh, the field, the different field formatters, but that are just the basics. We are just getting started. There will be some kind of SEO optimization, then we have uh, plugins for CK editor and WYSIWYG editors uh, planned and so on, so there will be more stuff. Just go to the project page, uh, download the module, test it, um, build stuff with it. If you have any problems uh, at all or feedback, then the uh, issue queue for the uh, Edge uh, Suite uh, project is the right place uh, to go to. Just file an issue there and uh, or your feedback and I will uh, get back to you. Or just uh, tweet me or Simon, all, also always uh, an option. If you are now as excited as I hope you are, but you don't have a clue at all about uh, Drupal and how to start or uh, you're not really familiar with the uh, views, then uh, yeah, sign up for one of my workshops and we'll uh, get you kickstarted on uh, Drupal, on Edge Suite. Uh, Simon will come over and we'll do some uh, crazy uh, Edge common stuff as we do most of the time anyway. Well, I think that's uh, it from uh, my side. Thanks for uh, watching. I hope you had fun and I'll see you next time. Bye.